Okay, here's some of the super things. We'll do this different today. Um, here's two from Dryer Flint. Thanks, man, in the last couple days. And then scroll down. Lisa Troxel, Bruce P., Amy Burke, Casey Sinning, I think. Mary Kelly, Cheryl Probert. Thank you, all you people down through here. I've already done these ones in other videos, but thank you so much. All right, I've been looking for Arrowhead today, but it's I got home like at noon, so I thought I'd come out here. See, this is all dump below me. Everything you can see is dump. All the way around that turn, all the way down, way farther down over the hill than you can see. All the way up this way. This is all dump. There's trash all under me, but you can see what's happening here. They're putting earth in here and gradually adding dirt to this so everything under it is untouchable. I can just get into it in the sides of the hill. And further down, you know, this isn't affected. But this is what's going on here. It's getting ruined up here. Look at all the big chunks of concrete and stuff and all this rock in here. But I'm gonna try to find some vintage marbles. Got all my tools. Maybe I found a rare milk up here that's worth a great deal of money. So hopefully something like that, I'll get back. You know, just got here, got down, man, was just thinking, man, this layer feels good. There's bottles I'm pulling. That's the right age of stuff. Flip this bottle out and there's a marble right under it. See it? Flip that up out, flip the marble out. I'm just hitting the top of the layer. It looks like a marble king. Yep, marble king. Tricolor rainbow. Looks pretty decent here. Yep, it's frameable. That's pretty nice. It's got red up in the top of that yellow. Not bad. Let's see if I can't get some more. Yeah, here's this little marble king. Kind of nice. It's going to look nice in the frame. Thought I'd show you. Look how nice the condition is. Later. See what I mean down in here? See if I can't pop out some bottles here. It's a real lease layer. There's a bottle right there in the wall. It'll be 50s or 60s beer, it looks like. But this is the kind of undug layer. See, there's multiple bottles. 58, maybe. Can't tell. But this is what I want to be in. Maybe a nice marble. I'd like, you know, a nice alley agate or something. It'd be awesome. I'll get back. So I was just going to turn this on. I'll show you this layer. You can see there's not much above that. But see that layer of burnt stuff with the blue thing in it there? That's what's the, the layer I'm following. And it's got marbles. You see it? Got another one. Right there. It looks nice. I mean, it looks like a marble king to me. But man, this looks pretty nice. It looks like one I found before, similar. Yeah, I've got some like this, but this is nice. It's definitely made by Marble King in West Virginia. And this is a 1960s one. But it's beautiful, look at it. Purple one, like burnt orange, real nice condition. It'll look good in the frame. I'll show you the frame at the end later. Yeah, it looks like I'm in town. I got one here that looks super, and I'm pretty sure that's a shooter. Oh, it is. I was right. I'm in town. Look at this. This is nothing spectacular. It's a big yellow cat eye. Looks okay. Eh, it's got, see it. These cat eyes that are big like this, the glass isn't as strong as the other, and they usually all, yeah, it's got other ones. That one's not good to take, but this Marble King, this is a Marble King again. I'm on them. And if there's two right here, I'm starting to hit them. Oh, this is nice. I found these before, too, on this dump. That's awesome. It's real fall colors in this pole down here. Look at that, blue in it. Super nice. 
Wow. <laughs> well, here's these last two Marble King marbles. Look at these. Look at that hint of blue in there on that patch. Look at. Yeah. Look how nice these are. These are really nice, real copper looking colors. Lay down. Well, I'm definitely into a pocket of Marble Kings. I'm gonna have to keep all this down. See, I'm getting key ins Here's another one right here. Seconds later. And this is not a Marble King. Folks, I've done it. I thought this was a red Marble King. It is not. It's bigger than average, and it's an awesome swirl. Oh, man. Looks like a a bow tied on that. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is a daymaker. Here's some of the bottles I'm pulling out. This ACL Coke, my goodness. All of it's there. It's just perfect. You can see like Cot, C-O-T-T, -T, Pepsis. There's a neck of a milk. But there's my daymaker. That's nice condition. Oh my goodness, I'm kicking butt on this place. That's awesome, folks. That's awesome. I found this too. I didn't film it because I found them before, but it has the cap on it, which is yellow, and it's Burnett's liquid color, which is feed coloring, and that's a cool little bottle. Let it well, this is a beautiful swirl, isn't it? Clear base red on like a porcelain white. Just awesome condition, like three quarters inch. Just a killer. Look at that, wow. Look at that like drizzle on. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, folks. Later. Well, you see the progression of this video. I'm in a good, I'm in a, a hole now. I'm excited to dig in, look here. It looks like the beast is broke. Well, it's right there, look. The little GI, I can glue that back. I'll take it since I found it. It's a little walking GI. A little bit farther, I see a big marble right there. Looks like a yellow cat out of me. But look at the layer I'm hitting here. I'm going this way. Let's see. It's what it looks like. Let's hope this one's not all beat up. Probably is. But man, there's a lot of marbles in here. Oh, that's nice. It's nice. Look, it's got an orange tip on that. It's got orange tips on every one. That's pretty decent. It's got different color, just slate orange tips, and it's a big four vein cat eye, perfect condition. Nice. All right, I got something real cool right there. Here's some of the stuff I've been pulling out of there. There's an old oil can. It would have been cool golf. There's a little pony beer bottle. I'm finding this stuff. There's a that's a keg tap topper, and they usually have a brewery here, but it's wore off. Um, there's a record, but look at this. This might be a Cracker Jack toy. The base is gone, but it's really awesome. Look at it. It's like a dude with a little sword. That's pretty awesome. I'll put that in one of them cases and show you. That's cool. Well, here's this little figure. It's like a Revolutionary War soldier. That's cool. Cool as heck, huh? Later. All right, right there above my thumb is that little revolutionary war soldier and here's a bunch more toys from them dumps mostly from that one lots of cool stuff huh later mostly removing concrete i got a huge piece here all around it's gonna be good you see it looks like a cat eye maybe honey colored yeah it looks like a vetro cat eye i found these before they're beautiful. They're really nice. Look at that. Kind of a pumpkin orange. I found them right in here before on this hill. That's beautiful, folks. It's a nice condition. That's a frameable marble. Probably a vitre cat eye. One, two. It's. One, two. I think it's five vein. Yep, five vein. That's nice. 
later. You see that marble is pretty nice. Bubbles in it, nice looking. Probably a vitreo agate cat eye made in Parkersburg, West Virginia, about 1960. Later. I saw a marble fall out back in here, I'm pretty sure. Let me see if I can get in here and get it. Right there. Ooh, what's this? Eh, it's just a four vein cat eye, but it looks nice. I'm gonna have to get some of that overburden off. You see, it's not as deep as it looks. See, it's a little, probably Marble King cat eye, not bad. Later. Yeah, here's his cat eye. You can see it's just, it's just perfect condition. Just a common marble though, but that don't make the frame. It's just so nice condition. And look here. Hi little friend. Tell them, tell everybody you're doing awesome. Look at this. It's my best buddy in the whole world. Alright, enjoy the rest of the video. Look at this boy. Mr. Chips. Better fix. Hi buddy. Good sign. This is out of, it's, the, the ground's done that, but you can put it in boiling water and that'll go back. There's a little car. Two of the wheels are there. That can be fixed. Little eh, late 50s car. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a marble. You see this? Um, right there. Oh man. This is a big marble king shooter. I can tell by the color. And it's amazing. It's one inch. It's a tri-color rainbow. This is worth the trip. If it's not all dinged up, if it's nice, it's gonna, oh, it's nice. And that's a unique strip of color right here. Oh, it's, that's got three colors right here. It fix, this is nice. You know, this isn't, that's nice there. The blue's nice, there's, it's wet mint. It's really beautiful condition. It's probably in a, from a bag that got thrown away. I found a lot of these in the past, but you know, potentially this is up to like a nine, ten dollar marble. And it just adds value to the frame. That's beautiful. Later. All right, here's what we're getting up to. There's that big shooter down there at the bottom I found in this video. Look how nice the red one looks beside that other red one in the center that I found in this video. Um, I found more marbles, other just common cat eyes and stuff like blue ones and stuff that I cut from the video. These were the nicest one, funds from a couple trips. This is looking good, folks. It's looking real good. Oh, that's 12 foot in the air. What are you doing? Chief? There he is. What are you doing? You backing up and getting down? You t look at him. Man, that cat is something else, isn't he? Get out of there. What are you doing, buddy? What a dandy, huh? Well, he's up for adoption. I just, I'll put the video up at the end. I just, he's just been coming around for about a week. And he's doing wonderful. But he don't need to be outside. You can hear the cars in the background. I'm right by a state road, so. But he's pretty smart. I see you, buddy. Come on. All right, I'm going to the road.